my name is Jorik Jossop from Mouse, and we are back for another track guide. This is week 8 of the Vera GT3 Sprint Series on racing, and we are at the lovely Road Atlanta. Amazing track, um, very, very tricky. There's a couple references that you need to get right because there's a couple blind corners that are very, very important to get really like correct on the line to not lose a lot of time. How does it look like? Let's get into it and see how we do it. As usual, the regulars will know, I think the track is the best in my racing. If you haven't known the track yet, it's worth it for sure. A lot of good racing and lots of fun to hot lap as well. I'm in the last corner here. The last bit here is flat as long as you know where to go over the hill. Turn one, we want to extend a bit to the outside here. Go on nice into the middle. And get it to the curb on the left side. It should be just about flat here. Double right hander. We take a lot of speed into it here because of the banking. Try to focus on a good exit. I get the long back straights where you want to set up your overtakes. Put the big run into the chicane, and into the chicane the car is compressed into the ground so we can break it really, really hard without getting into the ABS too much. We get to run to the line, and that's a lap around Road Atlanta. So have a closer look how to take the curbs in this uh, sector one, especially. Alright, so let's have a closer look at the details here from the outside camera. And for turn one, um, you can do two lines. The safer line is to just hug the white line on the left side here, just break in a straight line, and then go for the apex. Um, we can use this runoff on the left here as. Uh, widening the corner and trying to open it up a bit on the entry. So what I like to do then is not run quite at the white line and then run across this, this edge here on the grass and make sure that when you're running on the grass you're not turning or breaking it. And that way we just cross this here, so we're, we've got a steering wheel straight, we're going in a straight line over the grass, so nothing will happen with the, the balance of the car. But it does allow us to be on the left side of the white line here, and it just allows us to have our car maybe like half a car with further to the left side, opening up the corner. Of course, you want to brake when you get off the grass. Make sure you're not hitting this patch of grass on the left side here, and then brake slowly towards the inside, and make sure that your car is rotating towards this point here at the apex. You don't have to exactly hit the apex here because of a small bump, but you want to have the car rotating towards the apex and around this point where the track starts going up again, you want to start feeding in the throttle again um, because the car gets compressed into the, the ground and you want to make sure to carry the momentum up the hill. So, if you run very wide here as an overcurrent, um, you can run on the curb here on the exit, but it's going to be tricky to get back to the left side and set up turn 2 and 3. And turn 2 and 3 is really, really tricky on this track because it's blind. So. If we run up the hill here, we go for the inside cam, because then we can simulate what we can see when we're driving. You see, you, we cannot really see the track. So what I like to do is on the top of the hill, aim for this, uh, this kind of crack in the road. There's two of them, so there's one here, one here. On the left side crack, I try to go from the middle, and then on top of the hill, be right around this, this crack in the road, going towards the left. And what that will do is, when we do that, when we get to the top of the hill here, the curb on the left side will appear. We don't have to be flat out here. It's more important to have your car settled and lined up on the left side curb than to be flat out as long as you possibly can. So the line's more important here than to be completely flat. It's better to just lift off a bit earlier here and make sure that the line uh, is right. 
an object car going in a straight line over the curb on the left side here. And once we do that, you want to have your left side tires on the curb. And by the time we get to the end of the curb, again, we cannot see turn three. By the time we get to the end of the curb, you just have to trust yourself that when we get here, you start turning in, we get to the apex of turn three. So if you do that, you want to clip the apex here and then slowly let the car run out to the outside. And if you clip the apex well on turn three, we should be able to go on throttle before getting to the curb here to uh, ensure we get a good exit. So because that's the most important part of the track, I'll play it in uh, normal speed one time. So we cross the left side black line on the road, almost at the top of the hill. Get off the throttle a bit. If you don't have the exact right line, if you don't have the exact uh, right uh, reference yet, it barely costs you any time, it just makes it a lot easier to get on the curb. By the time we get to the curb on the left side, at the end of the curb, we want to start turning in, and then the curb on the right side for turn 3 will appear. So this is how that will look like. And if you get the turn 3 curb nicely, it should be flat again before getting to this left side curb, and then from that, you should be able to take the next couple corners flat out. How that looks like, we want to... Uh, follow the curb on the left side here. Try to open up the right hander. We don't have to completely come from the left, but we need to open it up a bit so that we're uh, able to take this right hander flat. And then we get to the next tricky section. Um, we want to run on this curb here before turn 5. We want to again break in a straight line on this curb. But this start of the curb is quite high, so we want to avoid the start of the curb. So we want to come from the left side onto the curb from about here. So how that looks like, come from the outside, avoid this first bit of the curb here, and then run onto the curb afterwards, and make sure that we're breaking on the curb in a straight line. And again, to do that, we go from the onboard cam quickly. We make sure to keep it all the way on the left side here, and even turn a bit further left. And then come on this in like a weird line. If you overshoot this left ender a bit, so if you struggle with understeer and this downhill part, which is something easy to do, it's better to lift a bit here and make sure you come from the left side than keeping it flat and hitting this, this bump here on the entry because that will ruin the whole exit of the section. So you want to make sure to run onto the curve like this. And then uh, for turn five itself, you have two options. After you've gone off this, this curb here, breaking straight line, you can either miss this curb completely or run over it completely. And in the BMW, it handles the curb quite well. I choose to run over it completely. Um, in some other cars, it might be better to miss this curb and focus on exit a tiny bit more. Then, for the exit, we want to make sure once we get to this curb here, the car is already fairly straight. If you have to turn too much here, the car will understeer and then uh, get upset if you hit this, uh, this curb with too big of an angle. And Maybe you clip this, this piece of gravel, which then will send you into the wall on the right side. So make sure once you get to this curb here on the outside, the car is fairly straight and it should handle the curb quite well. We get to the middle section of the track, the double right-hander. We want to break in between the first and second line. So when the car is exactly planted on the, the first line here, when uh, the reference for me is in between the first and second, we want to break. Carry a lot of speed here into this corner if you do it right, because there's a lot of banking in the corner. So there's not a big exit from the corner, so you want to carry a lot of speed, carry the brake quite a while, uh, throttle quite early because this this curb on the left side will uh, just catch you. Brake again in a straight line on the curb on the left here and make sure to set up the straight well. That means we want to do most of the corner before we get to the curb, and once we get to the curb, the car is almost completely turned already, and we're already bringing on the throttle. And not far after the exit, or after the, the inside curb, we'll be full throttle all the way to the exit. And again, we focus on the exit so much here, because it's a very long straight, and it's a good overtaking opportunities as well in the race itself. But the big straight, we'll skip past that. We get to the braking for the lash again. And again, braking for the lash again, you've got two options. Um, you either run next to this white line and break in a straight line, which is slightly easier, 
or you break from not quite at the right line so you leave maybe like a meter to the right side here and aim for this curve on the right side here and then you open up the chicane a tiny bit you probably have to break a tiny bit earlier but you can take a bit more speed through the chicane itself so there's not too much uh, speed difference on both it's slightly easier to break in a straight line it's slightly faster i think to break from the middle and use the curb so if you break from the middle use the curb looks a bit like this again we can break completely max or close to max without getting to abs because we're coming from a downhill and we're going straight that means the car gets pushed into the ground and gives us a lot of grip on the braking here initially but then once the car is flattened out the, the weight goes a bit off the wheels again the car gets decompressed we need to come off the brakes and use a bit of the curb on the left side here and then try to set up the chicanes for a good exit um if you come from the outside, you can cut this inside grass here even a bit without getting the off track. I found that the later you turn in, so the later you apex, the less you struggle with the off track on the inside here. So if you struggle with the off track on the inside and you can't figure out why other people can cut the grass and you can't, it's probably because you're turning in a bit too early. We cut the grass a bit and then we want to make sure that on exit here, we're on the left side of this black line in the tarmac at least that way we can set up the exit quite well and have a good run up the hill as you can see i'm not off the throttle completely i just lift a tiny bit to put a bit of weight on the front end and then back to full throttle again up the hill and that ensures we get a good run up the hill and a good run to the line and that's the lap around road atlanta Right, so there you go, that was a track guide around Road Atlanta. Amazing track to drive, I really, really enjoy it. I hope everyone enjoys it as well. And I hope everyone learned how to fly over the curbs like we do here. And enjoy driving this week like I will. If you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And see you guys next week.